Hey guys, I'm Johnny with Johnny Brandon Filmwork and I'm gonna share five tips on making a professional demo reel right now. If you're an actor or an aspiring actor, I cannot stress enough the importance of having a demo reel in your arsenal to find work. Besides having a resume of your work and a headshot, a demo reel rounds out the top three things that you must have in order to find work as an actor or representation, such as an agent or management. Now, everyone's gonna have a unique way of how they want their reel to be shown. Some people may want a quick cut just to send it to our agent and have their agent upload that reel to Actors Access, or you can upload it to Actors Access yourself. Or they may want something longer, something like a vanity reel. A vanity reel is something that's meant to upload to your website or to your social media page. It's not necessarily meant to send out to agents or to management. It's more so something to just kind of showcase your work as a performer, something that lets people know that you're working and these are the projects that you've worked on. But whatever you're doing, you wanna make sure the work focuses on you because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your work represents the best quality in the shortest amount of time. So here are my top five tips in putting together a demo reel that will get you noticed. My first tip is to make sure that the focus is on you. If you're doing a scene with an actor or an actress, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the focus is on you. You're not gonna to wanna to confuse the casting director by submitting footage that actually showcases more of the other person instead of yourself. And if you do add a scene to your reel where you are working with another actor, make sure it's an 80-20% where the 80 is more focused on yourself and 20 on the other actor. Because we're trying to sell your performance, not the other actor. Even if you're in a film with a well-known actor, keep that focus on yourself. And not the fact that you're sharing screen time with a well-known actor. Number two, the shorter the clip, the better. One to three minutes is ideal. When I cut reels for actors, I make sure that I cut at least one minute's worth of material so they can upload that to their actor's access. The cost of uploading a reel to actor's access is $22 per minute. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that your best clips are first. And over the years, after watching several videos over casting directors who are part of CSA, uh, many of them stress on the production quality of the film that you're on. Production quality matters. It's one of the most important things um, that you should be thinking about whenever you're making a film. Now, if you're limited on footage and you don't have a whole lot to share, there's nothing wrong with filming yourself doing a one minute monologue. Just make sure that you're using a camera that can at least shoot 4K and you're using a non-distracting background. You wanna put that focus on you and be sure to keep the recording down to as close to a minute as possible. Casting directors go through a ton of footage when they're trying to cast a film. So you wanna make sure that you capture their attention as quickly as possible. Third, and this is really personal for me, is to make sure that you're working on films with a high production quality. Now this part can be really challenging, but if you go back to my video where I talk about how you can become an actor in your state, I mentioned that whenever I found out that we can make films here in Arkansas, I went out and I watched as many films as I possibly could that was all made here, all local films. And I noticed the variety of production quality in these films where there were some films that looked cinematic and professional, and there's a lot of films that look very amateur. The ones that caught my eye were the ones that had a cinematic look. And lucky for me, I've been very fortunate to have worked with filmmakers who know how to make a movie. I've worked with cinematographers who know how to set up a shot composition and editors who know how to edit a film. And whether it be shot on a DSLR or RED or an, or an ARRI, all the cinematographers I've worked with knew what they were doing. Therefore, I've been very comfortable sharing the footage that I've worked on. And if you're being asked to audition for a film or if you're being offered a role, there's absolutely nothing wrong of asking what kind of camera that the filmmaker will be shooting with. And even ask if the cinematographer has a demo reel. That way you can see the quality of work that that person has put out. Fourth, when you're submitting for a specific character, choose the footage with that character in mind. I currently have two demo reels on my actor's excess. One is a one minute dramatic reel and the other is a one minute comedic reel. And both of these reels show diversity and character within those genres. In my dramatic reel, some of the feelings I use are somber, regretful, sad, and in comedy I use dry, idiotic, sarcastic. Having two different reels makes it easy for myself to submit myself for that film or if I'm being asked to audition for a character for my agent. And I can also add a clip so that the casting director can see the diversity in the characters that I've played for the role that I'm auditioning for. And here is my two demo reels that I cut this past summer. My dad was a son once, and then he became a dad. He said, son, 
One of these days you're going to be a dad. You can't be a son anymore. So enjoy sonhood while you still got it. Yeah. I mean, it's our last day. This is our big push. I spent damn near $30 on that post. Well, yeah, yeah, you, you do that. And uh, and I'll stay here and I'll look at Duffy's Instagram and see what that little butt licker's up to next. <laughs> oh, sh I just hit a guy. Maybe he's okay. Oh, I ain't worried about that. You always were big. How screw my sir in accident? I said I was sorry. You're sorry? Yes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shot you down. Boy, what'd you say? I said she's not getting in your car. Ashley, get in the car now. Boy, you keep this up and I will crack your head on this curb. Well, how long is that gonna take? have to start without me. I mean, I won't mind. Start without you? Allie, it's family Look, times. Travis. Come on, babe. We're gonna be late for the movie. Oh, yeah. Alright, boys. I suggest you make it real nice unless you want a date with the attitude adjuster. My name's Nick, and I'm gonna get you back to your dad, okay? Isn't your name Santa Claus? Not for a long time. I'm down at that courthouse about every damn day, and it was his fault. Can't keep quiet to save his life. Or his mama's. And if you do have an Actors Access account, I suggest you checking out Billy Slaughter. He's a actor based out of Louisiana who has worked on some pretty amazing films. And his reels are separated by dramatic or comedic. He also has character reels based on white collar, military, medical. I mean, it's very well organized, and I've actually based my own Actors Access off of Billy Slaughter's. And finally, what to do if you don't have any footage? Make your own. Going back to my video on how to become an actor in your own state, there are lots of places in your community that will help you build your resume and clips for a reel. I mean, I've done my fair share of student films and I've also done the 48 hour film project. And those are excellent ways to get your footage back with a quick turnaround. And if you're going to make your own clips, my suggestion is that you uh, get yourself like a small DSLR or something that will shoot 4K. I mean, this right here, your iPhone. Or if you have a droid, if it shoots 4K, you're set. And in a future episode, I will share how you can make a cinematic short film or compose clips by just using your iPhone. And if you don't have a camera and you're not comfortable using your phone, then find someone who will shoot it for you. I actually offer a service here in my area where I will actually shoot original content for actors or for people who have never experienced uh, what it's like to step in front of a camera. And I actually offer that service so that they can have footage for their Actors Access or their IMDB or their first steps to building a reel. Be sure to check out a clip that I did for Becky Bartlett. She's a local actress that I made a custom host reel for uh, a couple of months back. Um, her agency, Treasure Coast Talent, actually requested that she submit a host reel for a gig and I went up to where she lives. We shot uh, three quick clips and within 24 hours I had it back to her. There's going to be places in your community that there will be people there that can shoot. So definitely get out there and do a search and you should not have any problem finding someone who will be able to do this for you. And there you have it. Whether you're an experienced actor or you've never set foot in front of a camera, and sharing your work in the most professional way is one of the most important things that you can do to get work. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me, and be sure to come back next Wednesday where I will have a new episode of Short Film Theater. And come back next Friday where I will have new content. And uh, until then, we'll see you soon.